Okay, so we've been talking a lot about uh, adjusting the burners and setting the manifold pressure or increasing fuel pressure or changing orifices and thought to give you guys a little demo, a little visual on why we want to do that. So if you're looking at a flame like this, I'm just going to kill the light here just to make it easier to see. If we're looking at a flame and it's in a modern heat exchanger, it's going to be long just like this flame is, very quiet, very laminar in flow, and it's also going to be a very specific diameter. And the reason that the manufacturer does it this way is so that it's because the heat exchanger transfers the majority of its heat by convection in a modern furnace. Older furnaces, the heat exchanger is transmitted primarily by radiation. So as, um, today it's done differently. Now the problem is with increasing the fuel pressure is we actually change the characteristics of the flame. So as I, I'm going to increase fuel pressure to this, and as I increase pressure, you can see the flame starts to shorten, and it's also getting fatter. And as that flame gets larger and larger, right, what we're doing is we're effectively changing the characteristics. And what we're going to get is we're going to get that, heat, that flame too close to the heat exchanger. And as we cut that distance in half, we increase the heat transfer at that localized area by a factor of four. Now, if we just increased orifice sizes and kept the, the um, flame at the same pressure, we'd get a larger volume of gas uh, to this flame. We would get, though, exactly the same flame characteristics. And that's what's so important to understand is we want to keep the flame characteristics the same. So that's why we adjust orifices, and then we only have a small adjustment in the manifold pressure so that we can actually uh, get flame characteristics that are ideal for the heat exchanger. If you ever look down inside the tubes, you'll see there's a clearance there around that, around that flame, probably an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. And that is necessary so that the heat exchanger doesn't fail in that localized area. All right, and adjusting the heat exchanger and changing the flame characteristics are re-engineering the furnace. And when we re-engineer the furnace, we're going to get a failure. So that's all I wanted to show you.